Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today I am going to be reshelving my books now that I have moved and I'm in a new apartment. I need to put the books on the shelves. So if you guys wanted to see an apartment tour, I am going to have one up probably before this video on my second channel, which I will have linked down below for you guys to check out. But I will be showing you like all of that. Some more unpacking content will be there. So if you guys don't know, I moved from Southern Ontario to Montreal area, Quebec, and we are in an apartment presently, but this is just temporary. But the reason that I am unpacking my books is for filming, for working. So it may seem weird that I'm unpacking them, but they really don't take that long to like repack. It's just the unpacking that takes a while. So I'm not sure how long we're going to be here, maybe a month, maybe two, maybe longer. It really depends. We are taking our time to try and find somewhere. That's why we are in, in an apartment right now is because we didn't want to like rush. We wanted to take our time, see some places, see what's out there and go from there. But yeah, I have my office here and the setup is going to be a little bit different. So let me explain. So here I have have all of my boxes of books so there's I don't even know how many there are but there's a lot of them this is also books that I need to do an unboxing book haul for but this is the rest of all of the books hello Charlie so yeah this is what I'm going to be unpacking now I do also have some books out here those are the ones that I'm not going to be unpacking right now because as I mentioned this is just temporary so whatever like doesn't need to be unpacked we're not going to unpack and these are more of my like my classics that were in the living room at the old house so they don't need to be unpacked which is why I'm just going to leave them I'm also not going to be unpacking my Alice collection because this shelf here is going to be like brown black white whatever <laughs> books and then I'll have my main rainbow here so I do actually have more room here than I did in in my office at the old house but since it's just temporary like I don't want to go and get another bookshelf yet I'm going to wait and wait until we find our permanent space so then I can like find something that works better for there so my first plan is to go ahead and put the shelves actually in the shelves these are the Ikea Billy Billy bookshelves by the way and then I'm going to clean them up because they've been traveling a lot so they're kind of looking a little worse for wear and then I will start deciding how to tackle so if you guys have seen my old shelves which I'm sure you have they are rainbow colored so I do pack my books by the color so I have some random ones in here but my plan is just to kind of shelve them and then I'll be able to shift it around when it's done because if you also remember when I moved in with my boyfriend it was like snowing and raining and it was horrible so the boxes got wet so we had to actually unpack all of the books right away and they ended up just being kind of everywhere so it made actually shelving them really complicated because I had to have them downstairs like I'll link that video down below if you guys wanted to see it because I also filmed that process it's when Charlie was like a baby also, I may have been wearing this exact same shirt now that I think about it. I don't know for sure, but that is a possibility. But yeah, so hopefully this process today will be a little bit more seamless. shelves are in and I have cleaned them. I really love these shelves. They have been through so much and they just clean up so nicely and they're also like $55. Like it's really not bad. They can hold so many books. They're nice and sturdy. Definitely would recommend them. I quite enjoy them and I will definitely be getting more when I move and have the room. But now what I think I'm going to do is kind of go through and sort out the books so then I can start with like red and like find the colors and go in order. It's kind of just gonna be chaos, so let's just time lapse and speed this thing up. 
books kind of haphazardly placed obviously if you were curious how long that took I have 28 minutes of footage so it really didn't take like as long as it might seem I don't know I feel like that's not that long so now I kind of have a conundrum if you will because I have books that I need to unbox and film a video for and then I have like some random books and obviously those aren't color sorted so I think my game plan is that I'm going to go through kind of color sort these leave some wiggle room like I have two shelves that are empty at the bottom then this shelf back here I don't think my brown books are going to make it out of their boxes <laughs> I just don't think that there's room but we'll see my plan for now because before i really finish with that shelf is i want to like see how far with the rest of the books filled in here how far it's going to go so then i can see what to do with those two last shelves so i think i'm going to go through color sort what i already have because like it's kind of hard because i have some stuff thrown in different boxes for the way that it fit like i was trying to put taller books and then there was kind of a system to it which i will probably film that packing when we move to the other house i didn't film it this time just because everything was very fast but when we move again i will probably film that for you guys uh but i'm going to do that and then film the video that i wanted to film because i want to um be able to put those books on the shelf basically i'm gonna take some time do that i'm going to like it gets very hot in here but i can't like i have an air conditioner here but i can't really have it on all the time because it's really loud but i am very sweaty and yeah it's good times so i'm going to do that do my color organization <laughs> to film this process of color coding but that didn't happen because I turned around and saw that my camera's battery died so sorry about that but I was in the zone I didn't turn around at all until the very end but the color rainbow is done like the footage would have been really boring anyways because I was looking I took pictures of my shelves before I moved so then I could put stuff exactly where it was before because I like the setup so I was just looking at my phone and looking at the picture and trying to replicated again but I left some wiggle room and now I'm going to take a lunch break so then I can go and film that book haul and then finish up 
with the shelving. Okay, so I just finished up with filming and I have all my boxes. Can you even see it? Yes, you can. No, kind of, I don't even know. Oh, wait, there it is. I was getting confused, there's too many boxes, but all my boxes, so I'm going to need to clean that up. I've got my stack of books here that I need to put away. And then I'm going to start with the random books boxes because those are like the books that I left out that I wanted to read soon. And then I'll move on to, I have my garage book boxes, which those are the books that I had at my parents' house in the garage because I had no room for them at the old place. So I'll see if I can fit some of them but we'll see. So here's the deal. I was not able to open the garage book boxes, which is fine, but I fit everything else in here. It's all full. I have my black and white books over there, and I also actually have some black ones behind me. And then this shelf I'm leaving for book hauls. So that's where I put like incoming books that I need to haul in a video. So then I don't forget to haul them. So yeah, this has been exhausting. Uh, I still also have a lot to do because I still have like boxes to bring downstairs but I'm not really sure if I want to do that today get it over with or if I want to just call it a day for now the one thing that's bugging me too is I can't really unpack my desk yet because that stuff uh, the desktop isn't fastened yet so that stuff can't go there which is kind of annoying, but really happy with the progress that I've made. I'm not going to take out like my shelf decor or anything just because that seems like a lot of work that I don't really want to do right now. But yeah, I'm happy with the setup. It's starting to feel like now that I've unpacked my books, it's definitely starting to feel more at home for me, which is nice. So just still so much to do. Like I feel like I've literally been moving for months because there's been so much to do. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear Charlie is nonstop licking my hand, but uh, that's going to be all for today's video, actually. So I'll give you a look at the shelves so you guys can see them. Uh, not looking forward to doing this again in like a little bit, but it's fine because at least you guys get a video out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button and I forget what else I was going to say. I don't know, but I will see you in a new video soon. Bye.